woke up and thank the Lord Amen. I'm still alive, grab my gun and go outside My stupid pride, pray to God that I don't die That they hope we survive Welcome to another episode, or episode, or whatever type of soda, the Blue Report. I'm Richie Blue, follows to the net. And welcome back to every Blue Gang representative. And much love to anyone who's just straggling along. Um, I found a, a small documentary called Self Snitching on the Mr. Montgomery page. I'll put a link to that in the description area, but I'm going to get into this. I pretty much know who's already maybe on here. I'll point them out if, if the people that I think was on here are actually on here but I'm, I'm assuming this is a, uh, in uh, music and rap it has to be fuck it um, your mouth is your worst enemy is the opening this is Bobby Schmurder known mostly as a rapper from New York in 2014 he released a song called Hot Nigger this song has over 400 million views on YouTube and the police, they were definitely one of the viewers. Bobby Schmurter is one of 15 suspected gang members arrested and charged as a result of a two year long gun and drug investigation. On the 17th of December 2014, police arrested Bobby and 14 others of his GS9 gang. He was later sentenced to seven years with A-Rod and Russia getting a total of 151 years in prison. And here's how they were caught. The lyrics of the song were used as evidence in court. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call self snitching. Snitches in the station, even letters like the mailman. Yeah. Bitch niggas pointing fingers like they just got the nails done. I do early robberies to start my daytime. You can say I wake up just to make you lay down. But don't act up, cause I'll make you stay down. You wanna act up and hide, you get wrapped up and tied. Welcome to No Offense. The show where we get straight to the point, addressing the artist, addressing the rumour and addressing the topic. My name is Mr Montgomery. Not him. Him. <laughs> I've recently done an interview on my show, No Offence, with UK drill artist Burner. And I got so much negative comments. People saying I'm working with the feds and snitching. Even K Trap called me an idiot. Yeah. Coming from a guy who wears a mask. So much that I had to clear up my name. It's literally when you listen to an artist, when you listen to an artist and they say, I've done this, I've dipped this person, I've murdered this guy, I've done this, I've done that. They're incriminating themselves before I've even asked them a question. All I'm doing That's is true. asking them, why did you say that? That's literally it. Let me give you some facts. The minute you verbally put something on the internet or um, write something on the internet, it becomes an official statement. So before I've even asked you, did you do this? You've already said it. That's a fact. Right? Weasel, snake, informant, whatever you want to call it. Nobody likes a snitch, but everybody needs to hear the truth. A lot of individuals telling themselves without even knowing. But the question is, what is self-snitching? A self-snitch is someone who records themselves committing a crime and then posts that shit on social media if they're like rapping about something and giving specific details about a case in a track. That's self-snitching. It's December 2011. And Kyle Kinghorn and Jamal Moore are in court on trial for the murder of Zach Olumedborn. The two were rappers from Gas Gang, and the evidence brought was whether their group was a music group or a gang group. They denied gang activity. However, the judge played the video of them rapping. Within the lyrics of this particular song, we were able to ascertain what the gang initials stood for. Jamal Moore actually uses the initials in the lyrics of his song. Referring to Guns and Shanks. We also used some rapping from Kyle Kinghorn. Quite clearly, 
his reference to um, carrying a knife in his trainers. That's our interpretation, and that was, in fact, his admission when asked about it at court. The two were later sentenced to 16 years and 14 years in jail. The main question here is, can police use this in court? Surely, they're allowed to say what they want. Article 10 of the Human Rights Act states that everyone has the right to freedom of expression. This right shall include freedom to hold opinions and to receive and import information. In 2016, Channel 4 did a documentary on a murdered teen called Marcel Adai, and they said music videos helped in the convictions. It by gang YouTube videos. I still need sweets for that tempting. Eight were used as evidence in the trial, including this one, posted online before the murder by one of the fellow's court gang members who was convicted today. What was the relevance of the videos? Well, it, it, it can be um, it, um, several um, uh, key ingredients. Uh, I mean, certainly in terms of proving association between individuals um, and also potentially just, you know, just displaying how they are behaving at a certain time at a certain place. Bro, put boxing, draws through five and scores for man if you want that. Don't talk like you're bad doing on that combat juice, got spill like cognac. The recent battle in the UK, the songs being taken down for incriminating reasons. 1011 were a prominent group with over 20 million views online. But after five members were jailed for using weapons in a video, they became the first drill group to be banned from making music. The final question here is, can police really use lyrics from a video to convict a person? A number of videos have been taken down for reasons we don't know. But does the artist do this on purpose? And if they are convicted, can they blame anyone but themselves? One thing we do know is that these words are said. Whether they're said to incriminate themselves, we'll never know. Boom. Alright. Self-snitching is telling on yourself, and a lot of people do it in their songs. But there's a clever way of speaking or going about things. And... When you're a music artist or a musician or rapper, or whatever, the whole point of rap is to be witty and clever and put your words together in a smart way. If you're just out, yeah, I did this and I stabbed him, and yeah, we did this to this guy. This is why I, I, now I see why they wear masks. I'm thinking they wear, in the beginning when I seen masks, I'm thinking, oh, it's for the, the ops. The ops know what you look like, so it makes a little difference. It's for the police, so they can't use it. Like, oh, you said this, because they clearly just used it in 2011 with those two guys who were bare-faced and got 16 and 14 years. Um, you know, if Bobby, I don't know. I can't tell you, because and then they don't use no names. It's smart not to use names. Do they use a lot of names in UK drill? They don't. They just say how many times have men ran or got dashed up or da 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 or when this happened or whatever. And maybe some names dropped or whatever. But, you know, with Bobby Spurter's situation, he named damn near the whole hood and how they get down while they were already being investigated. They were already under investigation. And then hot nigga dropped, hot nigga blew up. They started to make a little run shortly after they got them niggas. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like they, they just was... You you got to understand, especially if you're in a gang, right? Like, I was talking to my homegirl one time. She works... She had worked inside the police department. And my neighborhood, where I'm from, was already under the magnifying glass. You know what I'm saying? Anybody's names, anybody that belongs to whatever crew, the neighborhood, not just... The particular crip set that belonged over there. It was the entire neighborhood, the crew, BSC. It was mad shit that was in that computer. You get what I'm saying? So once you, you gotta understand that if you belong to something and people are dying, you're already underneath the magnifying glass. So any and everything that's being said, which I know is smart to speak indirect and talk about, you know, uh, and have masks on so they can't never trace it back to you. Oh, well, you said this in a video, so this person died. He's a rival member of the gang that you're shitting on entirely, and you said about how this next person died. You mentioned it in the song. We can't get the next individual. I don't know how conspiracy works over there, but we're going to bring you in since we can't get who actually did it from your crew, but you're bragging about it on the song that this man just died. They're watching every single thing. This is what I mean, like, UK drill period. Not even just UK drill. Drill period is is, is 
a great way to get your shit off your chest. But the individuals that are really killing in that drill, like killing musically, are actually talented beings that can put words together very well. You know what I'm saying? That you don't, I don't, I mean, trap music is dope, all that other, like that shit is ill. But at the same time, you know you're being watched, so you have to be careful. And um, I think they're capable of doing, putting together real, real deep, like drill music is going, I, with drill music, I think it's only going to reach a certain level. But as an artist, and one that respects the your artistry, I believe you can go past that ceiling, the drill music ceiling. Me personally, like you have to go be above and beyond whatever the hell you're doing because that's where you get in the game to get, win accolades and get money. You get more money if you become, I'm not saying sell out and start doing all this fucking selling your soul bullshit, but you can become more and you get to work with certain artists. Certain artists want to tag along with you. Like you're going to get a, you think back in the days, who was it? Fredo had got a feature from Kendrick on uh, Kendrick's coming up or whatever. Kendrick Lamar and Fredo. Fredo's a driller, right? They did their track and they did their tune. Kendrick will work with just about anybody in any type of field because he's versatile. But you want to get the certain features and certain, like, not like people that come around. Like, Drake want to work with everybody because, you know, it keeps, not only is he, is he ill, it keeps his name alive. You get what I'm saying? You're like, all right, these niggas is blowing up. I'm tagging along with them. Dave is blowing up. Let me tag along with Dave and do this track real quick. Uh, such and such is blowing up. Let me tag along with them or whatever. You know, like, but I think Drill has a ceiling. And the ceiling has not been met by anybody yet. So I'm not going to say, like, oh, da, 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 da. But it has a ceiling. And um, you want to go past that. So the self-snitching shit is, is crazy. A lot of niggas tell on themselves. A lot of niggas tell what they did that winds up getting them murdered. Let's not even think about the police. They say some crazy shit and the, and the niggas will be like, oh, word. And then when they catch you, you get fucking dipped up, stabbed up, ching chinged, and all the rest of that stuff. So it's music is a form of expression. So I can't be upset that they expressing themselves the way that they are. But just stop fucking telling on yourself. You can say anything other in the world. You can tell a story. And disguise the story with different names and niggas in the hood know what's up. It don't have to be a badge of honor to brag, yo. Bragging just leads to fuckery because either you in jail or you're going to fucking die. Everybody wants to be the big man, yo. So here no there. Like, comment, share, subscribe, dislike if that's what you're into. Thank you for joining me for Blue Report. Peace, yo. They hope we survive today. If my niggas got a ride today, you know I'm wide away. Miss me with your hate, I can't relate. If you searching for some peace, put down your peace. Yeah, gamble with your soul, I'm totin' pose. I heard that hell is cold, my heart is froze. Hey, I told my brothers we destined to 